Students from Monash University have entered the new space race to Mars. They've built a plucky little rover which is set to compete against other machines from around the world later this month. Alan Rascal with the story. Ever since we landed on the moon, That's one small step for man. mankind has looked to the next frontier, Mars. Space rovers, now the advanced interplanetary party. It's life, Jim, but not as we know it, not as we know it, not as we know it. This one's called the Nova Rover. Now, when you started your degree, did you ever think you'd be working on a rover that could go around Mars? Absolutely not. Um, I, I thought I'd have to get a job at NASA to be able to do this kind of stuff. So it is absolutely amazing that we can do this at university. The plucky little machine, built by students from Monash University, the only entry from the Southern Hemisphere, set to compete at the University Rover Challenge at the Mars Desert Research Station at Hanksville, Utah, in the United States on May 30. As part of Team Nova Rover, would you like to see the little thing roving around Mars at some point? That would be wonderful, you know. There's a lot of design considerations that need to be taken to, you know, get something into space. The team also took part last year. This year's rover among 36 entries from 10 countries in the new space race, which involves students building rovers for around $25,000 that can perform the same tasks as the multi-billion dollar Mars rover. We want to encourage our students to practice and what is he learned from the classroom. NASA's Mars rover, Opportunity, was pronounced dead in February after 15 years on the red planet. <coughs> Who knows, when humankind does finally make it to Mars, we might even find some of these little rovers still roaming the red planet. Reckon that'd be enough to send my favorite Martian and Marvin the Martian a bit mad. Alan Rascal, Nine News. <laughs> oh, no, returning